Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one, we're going to delve a bit further into the reverse reverb trick that we covered in the previous Tech Tip. And uh, the way we did it last time was to just take our entire vocal track and reverse it, apply a reverb, capture that, and then um, reverse that reverb and apply it to our clean audio signal. And what that does is it gives you a tail that runs um, or a reverse reverb tail that runs the entire way through your track. Um, but sometimes you don't want all of the, the money in this in between and you just want to uh, sort of sweep into the first vocal or the first word of a vocal and maybe you want another sweep into another word of another part of a vocal. And I'm just going to show you how to do that. It sounds a lot better. So at the minute we've got um, this vocal here and I'm just going to make sure our reverb is off. She gets men on their knees, they beg her please. And what we're going to do is have it sweeping into the first word on this. She gets men on. So the word she there at the start. She gets men on. We're going to have it sweeping into that. And we're going to have it sweeping into this word at the next phrase. They beg her please. So just where she says they. And to do this, we need to actually split these clips up. Um, otherwise, it will. Uh, It will just apply the reverb across all of this and whenever it gets to this point, if you want it sweeping into the word they, it's going to have all of the muddiness of the words before that as well and we don't want it. So I'm going to just do a quick split here. Um, I'll just make a point of copying this part over first of all. So I'm going to split this clip. I'll place that part over there. And then we just want to take the first word there really. So if we just make this a bit sharper. She so it's just that word she we want to grab. So we've got the word she and we're going to reverse it. And then over here we've got the word they beg her. So the word they. So we're going to sweep into the word they so we can get rid of all of that afterwards. Okay, so we just reverse the word they as well. And then if we go into our reverb and turn that on. Place that down there for now. Okay, so pretty much when we uh, hit the freeze on this track now, it's going to do the two reverbs together. Um, you can do this separately or if you leave a big enough gap, this will work fine. So if I right click, freeze this track. Okay, so we've got our two reverbs here with our tail. So we can just highlight across all of them. And then Alt and click and bring this down to a clean audio track below. And do the same for the one just after that. So that's our two bounce reverbs now. And we can just um, unfreeze this track above. And we can actually just get rid of those two bits of audio now. And we can bring our vocal back up. And I'm going to turn the reverb off. She gets men on their knee. Okay, so I'm just going to place this over here. And I'm going to consolidate. So I'm going to click the initial reverb part here and the freeze tail and go to consolidate. Same again for the, uh, the tail on the second part, consolidate. And then we need to click on each of these and do one final reverse. There we go. So we've now got a sweep that goes into the word she at the start. So we can just reposition this. So you'll need to just sort of tinker about with this until you get it exactly where you want it to land. And then because this tail is so big, we could actually just bring this onto another audio track. So this is for the word they. Um, we could probably cut this short just as the word they comes in. We'll see how that sounds.
she gets men on their knees, they beg her please. So you can see there we've got that sort of sweep into the word she and we've got the sweep into the word they and it takes away all the muddiness either side of that so we could probably stick to touch a reverb on the original vocal. She gets men on their knees, they beg her please. Or use a completely different reverb altogether. She gets men on their knees, they beg her please. She gets men on their knees, they beg her please. So if you can imagine if you had a really big long vocal track and you were doing that at different parts of the vocal track, you'd get some very eerie sounds going on and it would uh, sound a lot more impressive than that uh, the quicker um, reversed on all of it would sound. Okay, so I hope this gives you a bit of inspiration and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.